Well, today's video is showing you some of my favorite, possibly the, the best climbs to do on the Goa Peninsula. I'm gonna include a route down below in the description. If you've never ridden around here, hopefully you can make use of that. But we've come out on this loop to follow the outline of the peninsula today. We've ridden along the cycle path towards Mumbles to begin. And now we're heading towards the climbs. So if you don't know, the Goa Peninsula is a very popular holiday destination for a lot of people in the UK. It's well known because of the sandy beaches, the coves, and of course, Rossilli and the famous Worm's Head. Now it's actually a great place to ride your bike if you come at the right time of day. Mainly early in the morning is the time to do rides on the Gower because it does get busy. You feel like you're in the middle of the countryside when you're on the Gower, but actually you're not more than maybe 20 minutes away from the big city that is Swansea. So the first climb of the list is Caswell Bay. 900 meters at around 5% with a total elevation gain of just 70 meters. Not a massive climb, of course, but it's on this list because of where it is. It's not that far away from Mumbles. You don't feel like you're far away from anywhere here, even though, even though you're very close to one of the best beaches on the Goa, and that is Caswell itself. The Ironman 70.3 Swansea actually comes through and up this very climb as well. Albeit that's not why it's on my list. It's on my list because of the views, but it's also on my list because I like a climb that gradually ramps up and finishes with a bit of a kick at the end. The best way to describe the climbs in this area are like a Belgian classic. You're never really going uphill for longer than a couple of minutes at a time. But when you do, you know about it. But how I'd like you to think about the terrain on the Goa Peninsula is a bit like the spine of a dragon. I'm using that analogy because obviously we're in Wales, but it's kind of like one big mountain in the middle called Kevin Bryn and everything else is in the shadow of it. There's like this ridge running all the way along. Now this next climb, which is inside a village called Park Mill, again on the south side of the Goa Peninsula. This climb I've been doing for like 10, 12 years maybe. And when I first started cycling, it was a brute of a climb. It's only 300 meters long, but an elevation gain of 43 meters. So that works out at an average gradient around about 17 percent and it's a right kick in the teeth as soon as you leave park mill there's not really any sort of good run up into this climb but it's a climb that's like very very narrow if you meet anything on this road you know you have to try and stay to the left the road surface the tarmac is a little bit bumpy in areas almost where it's rolled down the hill when the tarmac was soft because the gradient was so steep. I think we all know hills like that. So heading out to the next climb now, which will be Kevin Bryn, the big one. And that's what I mean by wilderness. We feel like we're in the middle of nowhere, but just open moorland. 1.6 kilometers at 5%, an elevation gain of 83 meters. Again, this climb won't take you a long, long time to get to the top of, but the good thing about this climb is although it's the highest point on the whole Gower Peninsula topping out at just 150 meters above sea level, there's three ways to get to the top. Um, I came up the, I guess you'd call the main way, uh, which has a very straight road run in, but the climb itself is only one to 1.6 kilometers in length. If you come at it from the south side, you have two options. I have to put this on the list though because of how many people have ridden this climb. On Strava, it says 20,000 people have ridden this climb, which is by far the most popular climb on the Goa. And it's not hard to see why. You have the views, and on a wonderful day, you have roaming animals that you have to look out for when you're descending. But speaking of which, 
it is a very, very good descent, and one that on a good day, you would really enjoy. Okay, we've got one more climb to take in, and in typical Ed fashion, this is going to be one climb that I don't think many people know. Okay, we're approaching the last climb of the video. It's in this little village. If you enjoyed this video, everyone, please give it a like. That would really let me know if you enjoyed it or not. Let me know which climb you like the best as well in the comment section down below. Looks like the rain is about to come in, but hopefully we missed it. Okay, here we go, the last climb. Now, weirdly enough, I couldn't find a Strava segment for this climb, so I'm gonna have to guess the numbers for you. But I would say, first of all, if you're gonna find this climb, you need to keep your eyes peeled. It's in a little village called Penclouth, and the Strava segments in the area, of which there's, there's loads, this one, this one road, the old colliery road, doesn't have a segment on it. So when you go up it, it's almost like you're going through the back of people's houses, which you know is a good sign for a steep climb, right? And you come around a corner and then it just goes up really steep and straight. I actually got caught out today because I was uh, meeting the bin lorry coming head on, but I managed to put my gravel riding skills to use and squeeze past. Thumbs up for that one and you're greeted by a really quick elevation gain and some superb views behind you but we're now on north gower so you're having different views over here versus the rest of the climbs which are mainly on the south gower so hence why this one is part of this list is because it's in the north of the gower it's a little bit different and you've got some nice views over the estuary that's it the last climb Thanks for watching this video, everybody. Like I said, let me know which was your favorite climb. Like the video if you liked the video. And I'll see you next time.